Are you there? Hey everybody, so since we are so close to Easter, I decided um, that I was going to share how to make this little um, treat basket bucket thing. <laughs> um, it's actually made out of an aluminum can from your canned food. And I painted it with white gesso. Actually clear gesso. And I also put some... I also, after that dried, I put some white acrylic paint over that. And then to cover up the, um, the edges here that were a little bit, um, dangerous because they were cut, I put some white duct tape. And then over the white duct tape, I put, um, Actually, yeah, after the duct tape, I put some designer paper um, from my mind's eye. And I don't remember what the collection was, but I'll show you what it looked like. And you can hardly see it, but that's what it was. And then I put some burlap at the top. And then this trim. I'm not sure where I got it, but I'm almost sure it was either Johan's or Walmart so and then I also um, after that I put some some of that heart trim I messed up a little bit there but I put some heart trim at the bottom and then um, the other little white trim that's right there and then I cut out some green paper from um, Die Cuts with the View Linen and Lace Collection, and that was one of the papers. I actually have a piece of it here still. And then I I used my border punch to um, punch out this little lace border on both ends of it. And I actually cut two pieces of paper that were like that. And the plan is to put my daughter's name on the little bucket right there once it's filled up with treats. And these flowers came from the punch, um, the EK Success Punch. Uh, I don't know what it's called, and I just had it around here, but um, it's from an EK Success Punch that has all of these layers. It has the back one, and then the top, and the leaf, and then it also has a little circle for the center, but I never use that. I usually just put a button or a little piece of bling or something else in the middle, so um, I put two of those on the edge of where her name is going to be, and I tried not to put so much on this side because I want her name to really pop out there and then as you go around um, there's these little flourishes in pink and then these flowers that are on this side and I sprayed those um, with the 1025 spray that's named Rosita and then the Center one was actually a combination of Easter grass, which was too bright since it is Easter grass. It looks like the fake little grass you put in there. And then I also sprayed a different color over that, which was sea floor. And that kind of made it look the color that it is there. And then there's some glitter leaves that I punched out with that same punch. And then it just kind of circles back around to this side. And that wasn't the original plan. Um, the name was actually supposed to be right here on this section and I covered it up with the roses they weren't going to be there at all um, except this one I covered it up because I wrote it out and I knew before I wrote it down that I shouldn't be writing it down because I have horrible horrible handwriting and even though I know that I still kind of said oh you never know it might come out nice so I wrote down her name and it came out horrible and so I had to cover it up with the roses and since those are really bulky that's why I put those ones there and I don't know if you guys can see, see still the green in the background right there that was all supposed to be for her name so instead I had to change my plan and then put this on this side and I'm gonna print it out because I don't have good handwriting or stamp it out um, with the Martha Stewart stamp that you can make your own phrases. So, eh, sorry.
And actually, good thing it fell over. I didn't do anything to the bottom. I had painted it at first, and then I got tired of waiting for it to dry, so I just scraped it off. And it's not going to show anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, and the top here, I, I'm going to change it out because the colors don't match. My original plan was, was a little bit more of a colorful design, and I did this part before I did the other part. Um, but I am going to change it out to just like the little fake pearls and make the pink ones and have that them strung on with some wire and then at the side where these attach I actually um, punch the hole with the crocodile on both sides so on this side and on the other side now I would recommend that you wait until you put your paper on there not in not your trims but your actual paper until you put that on there don't punch it through because you're gonna have to punch it through once you put your um sorry I can't this thing came off once you put your paper on there you're gonna have to punch it again and I actually punched it first when it was just a can painted and then I had to punch it again with the paper and I couldn't get it right in the exact same spot so just put your paper on and then punch it because it just makes it easier punch it out and I use the bigger hole from the crocodile the big bite and then um, and then I just for this I wasn't really careful and you can tell like some of these wrappings are really clicked together and they're just messy and I wanted it to be like that because I didn't want to spend the whole day just making the wraps all pretty and putting a lot of beads on there if they were if you were to put them in neater then they would you would need more of them because they'd be more constant or do a lot of wrapping so I just kinda did it messy but like I said I'm gonna change this out to a pearl one so that it goes with the bottom part but that's the handle so you would be able to hold it up like this and in the center I haven't put anything in there yet I'm gonna put some candy or a treat or something in there and then I put it inside this little bag so I'm gonna put them in the treat bags that you can get like at the bake baking section at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and then put the treats in there and then the burlap is gonna go over it and I'm gonna tie a ribbon around it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I actually and planning on putting all the slides as I'm talking through here so that it's easier to upload because I've been having a horrible time uploading long videos so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and try it out you know it's almost Easter and this does make a little bit of an interesting treat to give your child so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye